Huh. I'm live. Y'all probably wondering what am I doing? I'm playing with the lights on. I got a new ring light. <laughs> I did. I completely forgot that I went live. Anyway, I'm <clears throat> playing with the ring light, and uh, I'm trying to see what color I think looks best. Y'all put in your two cents, three cents, four cents. That one's the cool light. <clears throat> That one, that's the one I take pictures of my jewelry on for online with most. I actually think I like this warm one best. Let's see what some jewelry looks like against it. Here we go. Mm, it may make it look too, too, um, I don't know. What do you think? Not that one. Maybe this one. Yeah, I think that one's going to show the true colors of it better. Yeah. Okay, so nobody's saying anything. Hey, Presley Dean, thank you. This one is the... I don't know what. This one is the cool. Yeah, this one is the cool. So, it shows the light. It shows the true colors of the jewelry better. So, anyway, I like how the worm makes me look, but since we're selling jewelry and not selling me, <laughs> so that might be the best to go with that one. So, anyway, I have tons of stuff. Hey, Texas Sparkles. Thank you. Thank you. It's actually sleeveless, so, yeah, I don't wear sleeveless uh, very much out in public. I like my denim jackets. They go with it. Oh, that's heavy. So, I have tons of stuff tonight. Tons. And if you are... Hey, Kathleen. If you are a silver lover, you need to make sure you hang around. Because I have lots and lots of silver tonight. Lots of silver. So, anyway. I'm starting in on selling the big lot that I just got. That has probably more than 300 pieces of silver in it and yeah i'm started in on it so i've got <clears throat> some of it will have to be listed online because i don't think that i can get what it's worth and since i am selling it on commission i really need to sell it for the best price i can for my friend anyway but there are some um there's some vintage silver brooches and then there's this uh Cam Rose and Cross bracelet that uh, is uh, amethyst and it's sterling. It's sterling silver and amethyst. And uh, um, they go for about anywhere from 65 to 150 online. So anyway, and if you don't know what Cam Rose, Cam Rose and Cross is, it's a company that remade a lot of the of Jacqueline, Jacqueline Kennedy. I have trouble saying her name. Jacqueline Kennedy's jewelry and redone it. So, hey, Sandy Brown, how are you? So, I have a bunch of giveaways. Uh, I'm giving away four pieces of jewelry tonight and half price shipping and a $3 off coupon. I'm not going to show any of it because I've labeled it. When you pick your letter, that's what it will be. So, if you've never bought from me, the um, only thing that you need to do is email me your PayPal address, your YouTube name, and your real name, and tell me, you don't have to tell me where you live, but just tell me whether you live in the U.S. or if you live outside of the country. I do ship outside of the country, but you have to pay that cost, but I have... Um, a thing, a discount that I get through a uh, pirate ship for international shipping, and it makes it a lot cheaper to ship uh, doing that. So it's an international shipping discount that they give, and so I can ship things to Canada pretty reasonable. So, and no, the hair is not cut off, it is pulled back in a ponytail. And look at that gray, you guys. I'm getting so gray. So, Getting so, so gray. So, there, it looks like there's about 10 people here. Nine or 10 people here. We're going to get started. Um, I have some 
brand new things that I'm going to show you that you've never seen before. In fact, I don't think you've seen any of the things I'm offering tonight. I do have a large bead lot. Um, I sent a message out to some people that I know that do beads. If you know anybody that does beads, um, let them know. I have some very interesting things too. Um, anyway, what I started in saying, if you've never bought from me, just email me at cndlovin at yahoo.com. And uh, I'll type that in there. Nope. I won't. There we go. And just tell me your YouTube name, whether you live in the United States, your PayPal email address, and your real name. And um, anyway, are y'all ready to get started? So, I, okay. I do still have some Buy It Now stuff up on the Glam Squad. But uh, I did not put up any new today. And we are going to have all prices. We're going to start at all prices. And I have a lot of things that are going to be buy it now that we're going to do fast. Okay. So, um, but this little bracelet right here, um, kind of in the style of a cha-cha bracelet, is made by Talbot's. You can see the T there. It's made by Talbot's. And we're going to start the bidding on this at $4. Four dollars, and let me just tell you how long it is, and then you will know how long it is. So it is eight inches long. So it is really pretty. You've got they're plastic beads. You've got peach, coral colored. Uh, a blue icy color. Just real, what I would think is real springy colors. So, we'll start the bidding at $4 on this one. So, and it is Talbot. And I do have a lot of name brand stuff. I also have a lot of non-name brand stuff. But uh, uh, I have some brand new stuff that has name brands on the box. I didn't even take it out to look and see if there was name brands in the on the pieces of jewelry. So anybody interested in this uh, cha-cha style bracelet? It is eight inches long. Eight inches long. Cherry Berry, if you're here tonight, I did bring my wallets, the vintage wallets that I have. So, and this is showing the color really good. The color is really good. I can see on the screen, screen with the ring light that their colors are going showing really, really good. Anybody want to start at four dollars on this? <clears throat> We're looking at a um, Talbot Cha Cha style bracelet. You've got white, pink, peach, kind of a dark coral, silver, gold on a gold tone metal bracelet. So. Four dollars is where we're going to start. And I have my, my I do have my um, my Yahoo mail pulled up so that if anybody wants to um, if anybody wants to email that hasn't bought from me before, you're welcome to email and that way you can bid. So anybody on the Talbot's bracelet starting at four dollars, guys. I can I can tell you this right now because when I pulled this, I saw who I bought it from and I saw how much I paid for it and I paid more than $4 for it. So, but sometimes you just do. And if it doesn't sell, I may wear it this spring. It's awful pretty. So, $4. If not, just pass and we'll move on, okay? Give me a pass and we'll move on. So, if you're watching and you've not said hi, be sure to come in and say hi. Um, also, uh, oh, I do have some brooches in here. I wanted to point that out because I met somebody personally this past week that I invited to my auction and I told them that I would bring out some brooches. So, I do have some brooches. So, I guess we're going to pass on the Talbots. 
and we'll just put it to this. I have a side bucket. Cut like that. So, okay. So this is not silver. It looks like what Bobby Barbie makes. Yeah, Barbie didn't make it. It's Talbot's. So, but I might have bought it from Barbie. <laughs> I might have. Anyway, hey, Mike, how are you? So, okay, here we go. So, this is signed. Let me just look for the little eyeball. This says uh, Mexico, but it is not silver. It is not silver. It is signed Mexico. It's more than likely alpaca. Oh, the colors show up really, really good on that. So that is about that blue and the red and the white. And you've got abalone shell and mother of pearl in it. Not sure what the red is. So we're going to start this at, um, we're going to start this at $4. $4 on this bracelet here. And it is signed Mexico, but it is not silver. Let's see. Thank you, Suzanne. You like that lipstick color? Suzanne is one of my friends that I've been friends with online for years and years and years. Probably 15 years if I really had to just pinpoint. So, hey, Jen, how are you? Hey, Terry Berry. I uh, brought Terry Berry. I brought um, my the vintage little her, uh, wallets out today so I got them out so this one is not silver but it is signed Mexico and it is starting at four dollars and it is let me just measure it measures two and a half inches this way two and a half inches hey Don's channel welcome 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 so Anybody interested in the Mexico bracelet? Four dollars. Let's see. Y'all, I'm going to be playing all night. I got a new ring light. So, there goes warm. Mm, that color is pretty good. That shows the colors pretty good on that warm one on that one. So, mm, I don't like that one. There, we'll go back to the one original. So, that actually, this color uh, shows it a little bit bright on the blue. So, anybody want to go $4 on this Mexico bracelet? $4. And I did get started real fast because I have tons. I have over 75 pieces, guys, tonight. So, uh, I was very, no, my hair is in a ponytail. It's in a ponytail back there. So, nope. Listen, yesterday I would have cut it all off. All of it. Cut it off. I mean, wah, wah, wah. if I had a thought at all that I could have got it cut straight, I would have cut it off. It was like driving me nuts. So, today I went to the Dollar Tree and bought some hair bands and some um, bobby pins. So, I could bobby pin up the sides because it doesn't quite reach. Anyway, thank you. Thank you. I got a new ring light. So uh, I finally broke down and bought me one just because my lights for my website pictures were looking horrible. So nobody's interested in this. Well, if you can give me a pass, we'll go on. Okay. Mexico bracelet, $4. So $4 is where we're going. And I got my tiger's eye bracelet on. Oh, and my copper earrings. So pass on it. I gotcha. So. And we're going to pass. Number two. Uh, pass. Okay. Now, I've never heard of this brand. So you may want to Google it. Oh, Anamora said four. Okay, Anamora, you can have it for four dollars, honey bunch. Are you retracting that, Anna? I saw it leave. Do you not want it? 
If you want it, you can have it for four. Just let me know. I saw it pop up, but if you don't want it, that's okay. So this is one of those charm bracelets that you can add charms to. And it is signed. Okay, I got you, Anna. It's sold to you for $4, okay? Thank you. There we go. Okay, so this is one of those that you can slide the charms on. And every link on this is signed D-A-R-I-A, -A, Daria. So we're going to do... I don't know anything about this. Totally anything. I never even looked it up. So we're going to do a buy it now on this for $3. If you want this for $3, type in the word Daria. D-A-R-I-A. And I didn't even look to see if it was magnetic or silver. So, yeah, they're Italian charms. No, it's magnetic, which that don't mean anything as I have found today. It says Daria. Dynaflex, D-A-R-I-A. If you want it for $3, just type in Daria. There's no charms on it right now. Hey, Gale, how are you? Lots of silver, lots and lots of stuff tonight. So, if you don't, if you're not interested, you can give me a pass on it, and we'll go on. So, this is a buy it now for three dollars. It is a charm bracelet, an Italian charm bracelet, and um, the keyword to type in is Daria, D A R I A. That's the brand of it, Daria. So. <clears throat> Yes, I'm worried about y'all though, Barbie, because we have rain in our forecast, lots and lots of rain, and you guys are usually like two days behind us, so it worries me, so I hope that y'all have time to dry out a little before any more rain comes, so we had rain yesterday, and we'll have rain again. Tomorrow, we have, like, a lot of rain forecasted this week. So, okay, I'm passing on the Daria. Hi, Warren Dixon. Welcome. Uh, is this number four? Okay, guys, this is an Avon bracelet. And it is, let me just tell you how long it is. It is a really nice bracelet, too. It is eight inches long, okay? Eight inches long. And it is, if you can see that, it's X's, X's. And O's, and the O's are big rhinestones. X's and O's, perfect for Valentine's Day. It's eight inches long, though. It's a little long, but I think that actually it has an extender in it. So it has uh, an inch or more extender in it, so you can make it shorter. So it has two two fasteners on it. So, uh, X is an O bracelet. We're going to start it at $3, guys. $3, and it is Avon. It is signed Avon on the back of it. $3, yep, that's what I've been telling her, Avon. $3, got Jen Layton in at $3. That'll be perfect for Valentine's. X's and O's. Anybody want to go up? You can go up by a quarter if you want. So, and if you're wondering what I'm drinking. 
it is tampioca, which is a, a, a punch, an orange punch with some Mountain Dew in it. Healthy stuff. Healthy stuff. <laughs> so, anybody else going one time at $3, guys? One time at $3. Going two times, guys, at $3. And I will be moving pretty fast tonight because I have so much. So, so much. If you weren't in here when I started, I have over 75 pieces tonight. Yeah. So, uh, this is your final warning, guys. Final warning. I'm fixing to sell to Jen Layton for $3. And we are sold to Jen for $3. Thank you, Jen. Okay, that was number four. Guys, this is number five. And this is going to be a buy it now. Buy it now. This is on a card that says Rembrandt. It originally came from Kmart, so I know it's not just overly expensive, but it's a cute little set. Blue stones, gold tone necklace. I don't have any clue how long the necklace is taped up on the card. Uh, it does not have an original price. Um, buy it now for $3. If you want it for $3, type in Kmart. Kmart. $3. Buys it now. Thank you, Dawn. I appreciate that. Gotcha, Anna. So, to Anna Mora. Thank you, Anna. These next things are so stinking cute. They're not a brand, <laughs> but they are adorable. Okay. Stuck that in the wrong bucket. And they don't have backs on them, but lucky for you, I have some backs that uh, I had a pair of earrings that were broke when I opened the package the other day. So there's the backs for them. They're stainless steel backs. They're not silver backs. But these are little green M&M guys. So we've got two little green M&M guys. Okay, you see that? M&M's. These are going to be buy it now for $3. Buy it now for $3. If you want these little green M&M's for $3, top green. Green is the word. Green. Green, green, green. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay, I got Anna Mora finally got green in. Green was what I asked you to top. And uh, she, Anna Mora put in three. Dawn put in one. And finally, Anna Mora put in green. So thank you, guys. I wish I had more of them. They're so stinking cute. And I've had these for a long time. Just never thought that about taking them out. <laughs> so. Now you wish you had some M&M's. Well, I don't have no M&M's to offer you. I got some Baby Ruth's. I don't have no M&M's. Okay. What's that number six? Yes. Number seven. We're to the very first brooch of the night. It is what feels like transfer wear. It may be hand-painted. It actually feels like it could be hand-painted. It is a brooch. Let's see if I can get... There we go. Change the lighting color. Nope. Nope. There. Tilt it like that. You can see. You can feel it raised up. 
It is a brooch. We're going to start bidding on this at $3, guys. Start the bidding at $3 on this brooch. Starting at $3. <laughs> I've got Mike in at three. And I and I have him in first. So thank you, Anna. You're you're too sweet. So anyway. Bougie said she liked my hair pulled back like this. I'm just like, I got I can't deal with it down everywhere because it's got too much it's got so much body in it, it just waves every which way. Flippy flippy dippy. So Anyway, Casey says he likes the flippy dippy, but supper tonight, pickle spears, blueberries, strawberries, one shortbread cookie, the weirdest supper I ever cooked up. Uh, we had chicken parmesan before before uh, I cooked at 4.30, so got Anna Mora in at 3.25. Anybody want to go 3.50 on this? Looking for 3.50 for the next bid, and I do have lots of of uh, brooches tonight. Got Mike in at 350. You agree with Bougie Bear? So, Anna Moore's in at 375. It is really pretty, isn't it? I do too. We really like chicken parmesan here. I cheat and buy the all white meat breast patties that are pre-cooked. Mike's in at four. And so then I really just only have to heat them up and then I make my noodles and my others, my sauce and put it on top of it with the cheese. Anyway, so Anna Morris says she's out. Anybody else want to go in with Mike? If not, we're going to go once at $4 to Mike. Going twice at four dollars to Mike. This is your final warning. We're fixing to sell this brooch to Mike. Hi, Francis Marlowe. How are you, darling? We are fixing to sell this brooch to Mike for four dollars, and we are sold to Mike for four dollars. So, guys, okay, Mike. I know you. You probably. Don't want don't want to hear this, but anyway, I'll tell all my girlfriends. So um, this foundation, I am loving this foundation. Okay, it is a new line that Dollar General started carrying. It's called Believe. I think is what it's called. It's Believe. It's like four or five dollars a bottle, and I mean it covers just. I just squirt just a little bit on my brush and it covers so good. So if you're looking for, especially for older skin, it really does cover up some of those age spots. I've got some that are over here. It covers them up real good. So thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. You'll like it. Okay. This one is a vintage brooch. This one is star brand. It is star brand and it is, Thermoset. <laughs> mature skin. I do have mature skin. It's it is 54 years old. Fixing to be 55 years old. So and it has been uh damaged from years of laying out in the sun at the lake. So anyway. So here we go. We have this little thermoset brooch. It is browns. It is very mid-century modern. Very much so. It is done right here. And it says star. And we're going to start this brooch at $4. $4. $4. That's where we're starting. Isn't it pretty? Those colors are so pretty. And the lights are pretty on them. $4 on this brooch.
Let's just play with the color and see what the warm tone does to it. And that's the other cool tone. That's the warm. Look at that. Look how much, how pretty that makes that look. Starting at $4, Star is a vintage brand. And let's see. Actually, with the way the pen goes, you would wear it like this. Star. It's T-A-R. It looks like thermoset plastics. So, anybody want to go $4 on this brooch? You give scarves away with nice brooches. I have bunches of scarves in my booth. If you guys missed the booth uh, video, it's the video that I put up last before this one. So. I have winter scarves, not so much dressy scarves. So. Anyway, I have lots and lots of scarves in my closet, too. Anybody, $4 is where we're starting on this one. Let me show you something. So, um, is that the one I want to do? Yeah. So, we'll, to sweeten the pot on this, to go with this, we will add in, and y'all are killing me here. <laughs> we're going to, we're going to add something in. I'm going to have to up the starting price just a little bit, but not a whole lot. These are Coro. But they match this so pretty. And they're clip-on. We'll, we'll do these together. These are clip-on earrings. We'll do these together. They're Coro and a star brooch. And uh, we'll start at $5. Okay, guys? Going to start at $5 on this. You get a pair of earrings with a brooch. $5 where we're going to start on that. Those go so good together. And here's the other earring in case you're wondering. And they are marked Coro. They need some cleaning on the back. Y'all know. Kind of hoard the Coro. So if you're interested in Coro, you best buy it now. Because I might have a bunch in my hidey ho. So, we've got Francis Marlowe in at five. Anybody want to go up? Five and a quarter. Lots of sterling tonight, guys. Lots of sterling. If you know a sterling lover, send them a message and tell them they need to come to my auction because we have lots and lots of sterling tonight. Lots of sterling. Francis is in at five. And let's just hold that up like that. When I get all of it completely sorted, because I'm still sorting on it, there will be some turquoise. And there is some turquoise tonight, so... Going one time at $5, guys. Going one time at $5. She's getting a deal. If y'all don't understand that, she is getting a great deal. So, going two times at $5. Those Coro earrings are amazing. They are, aren't they? They're worth the $5. And if I wasn't lazy about listing on Etsy, I should have probably already had them up on Etsy. But, hey, y'all, I did get 5 I did get five listings up on Etsy last week, so I was so proud of me. <laughs> so, going two times at $5 to Francis Marlowe. Going two times. These really go together real good. They needed to go together, so. 
You should put them on posh. Well, maybe Frances will since she's fixing to buy them. So, and this is your final warning. She's getting both the earrings and the, uh, and I'll give you an extra bag. And the uh, brooch for $5. Final warning. Nobody else in on these? I'm separate, putting them in separate bags, Francis, so that they won't bump up against each other. So, And we're sold to Francis for $5. Thank you, Francis. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, number nine. Y'all, we're going through fast. Number nine. And this is an AEO, an American Eagle Outfit Fitters. It is a long, let me just tell you how long. So that, hey Dave, can you come here, lovey? Thirty-two inches is where the inner chain goes. You've got these little arrows that point down. This is a bronzy antique color. You have there little. And we're going to start the bidding on this. This is American Outfitters. I have a black ruler laying in there on the... Yeah. Will you hand it to me? Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to start it at $3, guys. Thank you, my love. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I have not so much grab bags. I just have bags of like I have bags of earrings I have a bag of beads but uh not any grab bags like Barbie does so uh, <laughs> I'm having trouble keeping up with uh, my little guy over in my booth and uh, I took two three two pound and a half bags over there the other day and then, then there was another two bags over there and he bought all four of them at once so, uh, um, I'm actually working on filling this big bag right here up, and I'm going to sell it full of jewelry. So, anyway, so, anybody interested on, in this AEO, American Eagle Outfitters, it is in a bronze tone. We're starting at $3. Actually, we can do a buy it now at $3. If you want it for $3, type in the word arrow. Arrow. It's got these little arrows. So, arrow. If you want it, $3. Has its hang tag on it. It is a name brand. American Eagle Outfitters. AEO. If you want it for three dollars, arrow is your word. Arrow, arrow. No, we're going to pass on it. Okay. We're going to pass on it. That was number nine. Y'all know what's fixing to come up. Because after every ten, ten, I do a drawing. We could do a giveaway. We're going to do one of the little vintage purses. So, guys, this is from, I would guess, the late 60s or early 70s. This was my mother-in-law's. There are a, a few condition issues. People, it's been in my booth and people has handled it and uh, so that's a little loose there the clasp all work the clasp all work it's got three compartments you've got a zipper and the zipper works and it's yeah it is cherry colored and you've got pictures and then somebody 
manhandled it over here. The snaps all work. This came out of my mother-in-law's. It smells musty. I'll just tell you that right now. It smells musty. It'll need put in a box with a fabric softener sheet or something. Um, we're going to start the bidding on this at $4. $4. It's from the 70s. It's a cool wallet. I don't care who you are. It's a cool, cool wallet. Okay. So we're going to start at $4. I know there are a few condition issues, but I also know that it is a neat, neat thing. So it has a little picture thing in it. So cherry berries in at four. The outside of it looks pristine. I mean, there's no rips on the outside. It's just on the inside where people, I guess, checked it out a little rough. That is dope. <laughs> so, anyway. It is not leather. It is probably pleather, plastic. I don't know. It's cool. I like it. When uh, my sister-in-law was going to throw it away, and I'm like, no. <laughs> anyway, I, I might have an issue about throwing away things. <laughs> so, anyway, there's a, there we go. So, ground coffee. So, it'll put some ground coffee with it. So, anyway, so we've got cherry berry in at four. Anybody want to go higher than four? I love the color too. The color is awesome. It is definitely a cherry color, isn't it? Going one time at $4, guys. Going one time at $4. Going two times at $4. Not lingering. We're moving along. Going two times at $4. This is your final warning. Final warning. Can't misplace that in a pocketbook. This is true. I have a black wallet that I can never find in my purse because most of my purses are black on the inside. And we are sold for $4 to Cherry Berry. Thank you, Cherry. I think you will love it. So, sold to Cherry. Okay, this is my number 10 jewelry piece, and then we'll do a drawing. So, you guys know me. You know we're going to do some crazy things. So, this is a set of puka shells. Hey, Deb Blogs, welcome. If you, hey, Desiree, how are you? Cherries. <laughs> That's, um, yeah. So, we have this set of puka shells. We have a anklet or a bracelet and a little necklace. And these are going to be a buy it now for $3. Thank you. Thank you, Jude. I'm feeling 100% better. I was that a respiratory mess knocked me for a loop. But I had been going in and out of. Uh, it is. I've got it in a ponytail. I can't stand it down on my on my uh, uh along the side of my face so anyway so this is a bite now on puka shells three dollars if you want this for three dollars top in shell shell three dollars you can take it apart rework it you can wear it to the beach you can do whatever you want puka shells yeah i have a bunch of them <laughs> So, I, I just recently got a lot that had a bunch of them in it, like four or five. So, this is a set, though. It's a necklace and a bracelet. If you want it for $3, all you got to do is top in shells. Shells is the keyword. Shells is the keyword. We have 28 people in here. Thanks, everybody, for being here. I see 10 thumbs up. If you would, please leave a thumbs up. It makes me happy. 
And as Dave says, all that matters is if you are happy, honey. <laughs> He's such a smart man. Even if he does have a brain injury. <laughs> so, okay. I'm not seeing anybody interested in the pukas, so we're passing. Into the pass bucket they go. Okay. And, uh, y'all, I am not mocking him at any in any way that a lot of times we just have to joke about those things to not cry about them. So, let's pick a number. Let's go. We got 28 people in here. Let's go 1 to 50. Let me tell you the rules. Happy wife, happy life, Terry Berry. Actually, happy spouse, happy house is what I heard just recently. So, don't just mean happy wife. You want both of us happy. So, hold on, Barbie. We hadn't started yet. We hadn't started. You're getting away from uh, ahead of yourself. Let me go over the rules. This is not associated with YouTube in any manner, okay? Not associated with YouTube in any manner. Because wait till I push start. You are getting ahead of yourself, okay? Uh, you do not have to buy anything to enter. I will ship internationally. I would love it if you subscribe to my blog, but it is not a requirement, okay? And please no whining or bickering. If you didn't win, you'll have another chance. We've got six giveaways tonight. Um, and also, um, last top rule is, hey, Willow, is everybody's here to have fun? So let's have fun. And the numbers are 1 to 50 and start. And I pushed it, entered it. There you go. Start. Go. Let's see. I'm going to pull up my number generator. While you guys are doing that, I shall pull up my number generator. I use this number generator a lot. I use it in children's church. I give away, I have a prize car and I give away prizes. And so the kids know that if there are one to 10 kids there, we give away three. If there are over 12 kids, I give away four prizes. So anyway, so yeah, they get a, a get real excited about the prize car. So anyway, today I went to the Dollar Tree and got stuff for valentine's party but don't tell them they don't know last week they were really raunchy i was like i was ready to quit my job last week after the after wednesday night so like i'm ready to I, i'm done stick a fork in me i'm done so anyway but yeah that's how it goes that's that's those are the days when i get on my knees and thank jesus that i am not a school teacher <laughs> Because can you imagine, you know, it's cold, it's rainy, they don't get to go out on recess. Um, yeah. So, anyway, I, I think I just had, let's see, I don't even remember how many I had. Eight or nine less. And we're in a real small room. And so, anyway, but on, on Sunday mornings, I'm not. Uh, I have a, a a big my children's sanctuary, but on Wednesday nights uh, the adults use it because they're they're doing a marriage seminar in there and they're using it because I have a um, overhead uh, projection system that they can use with my computer. So anyway, everybody got your numbers in. I do have some stretchy bracelets, probably. Do you like stretchy bracelets? I uh, probably do. Next up is going to be, we'll do a piece of silver, and then we'll do uh, uh, maybe two pieces of silver, and then we'll go back in. And then next up is a listener brooch, a real pretty listener brooch. So I have a bunch of bracelets in tonight. Um so, anyway, bunch of beads. 
Okay, I'm fixing to hit the stop button. Okay, guys. So here's what you've got to do if you got your number in. I am going 1 to 50. Generate. And this is the number. It generated a number 7. 1 to 50. You can see. I Hold on. There we go. I have to get it turned just right. It's a number 7. It done 1 to 50. It generated number 7. Let's go see who is closest to number 7. Oh, you do you? So Barbie's 12, 20, 44, 11. Uh, let's see. It looks like, is it going to be Desiree? I see Desiree at 10, 11. Hey, Amanda Salazar. I didn't see you come in a while ago, hon. Thank you. 12, 21. It looks like, uh, I see uh fashion desiree in at 10 fashion reclaim is in at 10 so i says array in at 10 that's the closest i see it looks like desiree is the winner so desiree fashion reclaim yep uh pick a b c d or e a b c d or e a b c d or e it's actually raining here right now a, B, C, D, or E. Hey, Judith Daly, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've never bought from me and would like to buy from me tonight, all you, yep, I just need you to pick a letter, A, B, C, D, or E, uh, Des. Uh, and give me the D, give me the D, give me the D. Right here you go. Here is your D. You get a pair of new old stock they're originally marked 6.99 they're also after 1993 on the back of them and i know this because it's the year my son is born d this is desiree's thank you des so you can sell those on on a Posh uh, D. Okay. So, yeah, they're vintage. Okay. We're going to do a couple pieces of silver. Okay. This is SS1. SS1. And. This is a bracelet. It is very cute. And I'm taking it. I'm opening it so I can see how long it is. Because I did not measure it before I started. And it looks like it is a little dainty thing at Six and three quarters inches long. And it has almost like a coat of arms. And I don't know that you can see it. So let's just see. Can you see it through there? Can you see it? Let's see. Can you see it? So come on. There you go. See that? I don't know what that means. But I do know that it is 925. It is sterling. Um, and I was thinking it's marked. I've got to remember where it's marked at. Let me just look. It did test. I did test it. We're going to start this out at $8, guys. $8. Thank you, Lori. So... I'm going to start this little silver bracelet out at $8. It is a beautiful little bracelet. Where did I see those marks? No, I saw them. But where? But I did test it. So, <laughs> oh, this is going to be funny. It's not a Superman logo. But I actually do have a, a necklace tonight that is a Superman logo. 
And that's funny that you said that. So, anyway. No, it's some little... Well, I've got it upside down. There we go. Some little... Oop, there we go. Come on, you were... You are focusing while ago really good. Anybody, there you go. You can see it's some kind of coat of arms. Eight dollars on the sterling. It's st sterling silver. Eight dollars is where we're starting. I think. Eight dollars. If you're not interested, just give me a pass and we'll pass on this one. Eight dollars. What are the symbols on the coat of arms? Let me just tell you. There is a, a circle with stars down, a slash of stars, and what looks like to be a W and and a sickle almost how does it clasp it clasps with a fold over clasp has a fold over clasp got Thelma thrifty in at eight my neighbors you remember they had the the dogs that would climb the fence well they got a new german shepherd Got a new German Shepherd puppy, and he's so cute, but he is crying, and it is raining out there, and he cried He cried all night last night. It didn't rain last night, but he cried all night. I thought, somebody's dog is crying. I didn't know they got a new puppy. Anyway, I was like, oh, my gosh, he's so cute. So, $8. Thelma, I have bunches of silver tonight. Bunches of silver. I got in a huge lot of silver. Over uh, probably about 300 pieces. So, I'm not doing it all tonight, though. So, going one time at $8 to Thelma. Guys, going one time at $8 to Thelma. Going two times at $8 to Thelma. This is your final warning. Final warning. We're going to sell this to Miss Thelma Thrift. Nobody else in on it. And we are sold to Thelma Thrift. Thank you, Thelma, for bidding. I appreciate it so much. I can't stand when he cries. I want to go get him and bring him in the house. I'm one of those people that like my animals in the house. So, very desperately, I like my animals in the house. Okay, we have another bracelet. Another bracelet. And this one is, I really don't know. This one is, um, it is signed. It is signed 925. It also has... Made in Italy, my lore, on it. And I was thinking it had some initials on it. Let me just make sure. Nope. Made in Italy, my lore. It is a... Let me make sure I have it going right. It goes in. It goes in like that. And, and then it has a fold-over thing that clasps on the side. Okay? So... Oh, Judith Daly, all you need to do to bid is you need to, let me top it in here. Email me, cndlovin at yahoo.com. Tell me your, uh, oops, I, I cut that off. <laughs> it messed it up. Uh, Barbie or somebody can, uh, or Francis, can somebody put, there you go, thank you. No, it's C and D, C and D, not Cindy, C and D, C and D loving. There you go. Yeah, C and D loving. I need your uh, YouTube name, your real name, 
Tell me if you live in the United States or not and your PayPal address so that you can pay. This little bracelet, it is sterling silver. It is marked. It is also mar made, marked Made in Italy, my lore. Okay. And um, it is a little heavy, heavier. And we're going to start this one at $9. $9. All of this silver has been tested because I just, you know, I test everything that comes in. So we're going to start at $9 on this. Let me tell you how long it is. There you go. Thank you. Francis is in at 9 This one is uh, 7 and 3 quarters inches. We got Vita in at 10 Hi, Vita. Hi, Jamie. Thank you, Lori. I have a bunch of silver. If you're looking for silver chains, I've got silver chains coming up later. I also have some beautiful pendants, including a turquoise uh, cross and a malachite uh, pendant. So, got Francis in at 11. But I do understand. I missed so many auctions last week because I was broke. As I said, I was so broke I was squeaking. So anyway, then I went and picked up my booth money. And uh, not, oh no, not turquoise. I'm killing you. Um, I went and picked up my booth money and then I took it to a... Um, like a wholesale place and bought a bunch of uh, jewelry for my booth that I've done bags and stuff with. And I've pretty much already made my money back on it. So, so Francis, your dinner is burning. <laughs> Francis's dinner's not burning. Well, anyway, ooh, yeah, Malachi, y'all like that, don't you? So, Yeah, Francis, no, Francis was in at 11. You need to go at least 11 and a quarter. 11 and a quarter. You can go up by quarters. You don't have to go by dollars. There we go. Somebody just messaged me. So, anyhow. Yeah, you can just, if you want to bid, you're welcome to just send me an email. I've got my emails pit, pulled up so I can see if I get new emails. But you're welcome to bid. CNDLovin at Yahoo.com is my address. So this cute little bracelet. Vita's in at 11 and a half, 11.50. Okay, Vita. Francis says she's going to get her dinner, so... Going one time, does that mean you're out, Francis? Going one time at 11.50. Going two times at 11.50, Francis is, I'm, I'm, okay, yes, you're out, okay. I just want to make sure that I wasn't misunderstanding. Going two times at 11.50. This is your final warning, guys. Final warning on this. So, you are more than welcome to bid. I love having new customers. And we are sold to Francis, uh, to Vita for $11.50. And I did get that right. Vita McCoy. Gotcha. Oh, listen, me and Vita has been sweating it out. I lost a package that was for her, and uh, it finally showed up. We were so happy. I think I nearly cried tears of joy. <laughs> so, anyway, um, so if you move, you make sure you check your thing because thank you. 
Jamie. So, thank you, thank you. So, here we go. Beautiful brooch. This is listener. It is vintage. There you go. We're going to start this brooch at $5. Start the bidding at $5. It is absolutely gorgeous. Let's see. Let's play with the colors, guys. Listen, I'm loving this ring. Mm, no. Mm, no. Yeah, I like this one. There we go. Come on. I'm blown. I've seen it five. Thank you. Barbie is in a five. Anybody want to go five and a quarter? Look at the colors on that, guys. Isn't that gorgeous? All you got to do is go up by quarter. No question you meant an uh, exclamation mark. This is beautiful. I'm watching for it, Judith. So... Magenta and purple. Yep. They're two different colors. You've got purple and you've got magenta. Very good shape, too. Okay, guys. Going one time at $5 to Barbie. Judith, you're welcome to bid if you want. I'm sure it'll come through eventually. So, But yeah, you're welcome to go ahead and start bidding since you said you sent it already. So, does it float? I don't know if it floats. I hope not. I hope we don't have to find out, okay? <laughs> so... No, they are not sapphires. That is black spinel in my in that band. It is black spinel. Hi, Brenda Combs, my friend. How are you? That is actually uh, black spinel is one of my birthstones. It's one of the other birthstones for August, and and uh, my friend Vita sent me that ring. And uh, I have, uh, y'all know I've told you that I have a diamond anniversary band, but I'm real nervous about wearing it. So I have this sterling silver band and the ring is sterling silver with the black spinel. So I wear it. And then this one here is um, just my band that got me when we got married. So going two times for $5 to Barbie. Brenda is a local friend. She uh, uh, likes jewelry, too. Brenda, I have a bunch of silver tonight, hon. So, I know. What's up with that? <laughs> so, uh, anyway, if you weren't already. So, uh, actually, I have a wedding set coming up here in a little bit that uh, I thought of you, Barbie, when I uh, did it. So, um, 
and we're sold. Oh, Thelma's in at 550. <laughs> there we go. We're almost sold to Barbie and Thelma's in at 550 on this listener brooch. Isn't it? Isn't it beautiful, Thelma? So I have some great stuff tonight. Some great, great stuff. Yeah. Did you get this at a uh, shop LC for me or did you already have it? Can't remember. I love the ring. Vita gave it to me. She she gave it to me. So you just bought a brought, bought a blue spinel ring. I love black spinel. Absolutely love it. So anyway, five fifty to Thelma. Barbie, are you in or out? Going one time at five fifty. Go in two times at 550. Judith Daly, if you didn't, uh, I do have your information now. So you are, it was yours. You are welcome to bid. You are welcome to bid. So Barbie is out. Go in two times to Thelma. This is the final warning on this, guys. Final warning. And that is a deal on a listener brooch. I'm just telling you. So, and sold to Thelma for $5.50. Thank you, Thelma Thrift. I do appreciate you very much. Um, how do you tell that brooch is listed for $35 online? See, if I wasn't lazy and went and did my research, we would know these things. <laughs> so, okay, guys. We're going to start at $10 on this. That's a dollar a pair. We have 10 pairs of earrings in here. A gem tester, really, Barbie, is the only way I could tell. The only reason that I knew it was black spinel is my friend told me when she sent it to me. So, congratulations, Thelma. So, we have 10 pairs of earrings. We're starting at $10. That's a dollar a pair, okay? So, thank you so much. I do appreciate, appreciate your bid. So, these are some lovely earrings. I think they are all pierced for the most part. I'm going to show you every pair. So we have a pair of silver tone hoops. Um, I believe that that's a, uh, no, I know that's a lever back closure over a post. Um, we have these black shiny, almost marcasite looking earrings. I don't know that they're marcasites. I think they're just a little glass faceted uh, stone looking um, navet. I'm trying to think of the word, what it was said. Found it was your birthstone and wanted me to have it. Yeah. So you know, I don't need the paperwork. So, but now they cannot reproduce it. So, yeah, mine just diamonds too there's a, a one called a presidium that will test and it really just shows you ranges it don't really show you it won't like just do an actual printout this is this it just shows you a range and you have to do these are little peridot bicone glass beads dangles very nice little earrings really cute these are neat they are seed beads that have been um, done on, I don't know if it's gold tone wire or gold field wire around a hoop. And let's see if I can get it to focus in. They're very nice. And they have this. I think that's called a snap closure. So that's one, two, three, four. We have these cute little um, white hearts surrounded by rhinestones. Pierced. That's five. We have a pair of enamel that looks like Domicene. Is it Domicene or is it? It may not be Domicene. It look, it, they're enamel. Come on, Cindy. Be still. There you go. No, not Domicine. That's not the word. Is it Goulash? Goulash? Yes, it is a lot. 
There are 10 pairs of earrings in here, and we're starting the bidding at $10. What is that called? Some kind of enamel. G-U-I-L-L-O-C-H-E. Is that it? I, don't, I can't say it. I can spell it. I can spell anything. So spelling was one of my things. Close a name. That's the word I was looking for. Close a name. Close a name. Not, not that G word. So <laughs> anyway, we started the bidding at this at ten dollars, and uh, we um, that's a dollar a pair. There's ten pairs. Okay, that's a dollar a pair is where we started. And then we have these beautiful rhinestone earrings. Gorgeous. Prom season is coming up. If you're a reseller. Hey, Darlene Buckland. How are you? And we have these. These are, these here are, uh, rhinestones and they are are big and blingy and pretty so what is sb sb i don't know what you mean what is sb and then we have yeah we got a few more days of it, Darlene. We have these little cute little butterflies. Let's see if I can get them to here. They go like so. And they are blue with white. And they look like little butterflies. And they're pierced. Starting bid, $10. I'm sorry. Starting bid is $10 on these. So that's it. We're starting at a dollar a pair. So starting bid is $10. There's 10 pairs of earrings in here. So, and then these right here are really nice. It's a $10 start. Yep. $10 start. These are beautiful. And I, I got it. Des is in at 10. So far, your favorite is the tiny hearts. And I've lost a back. I'll have to fix the back for that one. And then these red dingle dangles. Those are very nice too. So, and there's a back for that one. So we have the red. These right here, these big um, rhinestones. These beautiful dangly rhinestones. Prom, prom. I've been using that word as a keyword, the little tiny butterflies. Lots of rhinestones in this. Y'all know I love my rhinestones. Uh, these. Hi, Cheyenne. How are you, honey? Just a pair of plain silver hoops. These uh, dingle dangles with the... Um, with the uh, glass peridot bicone beads. Very pretty. Very, very pretty beads. They catch the light. So pretty. The little hearts. The red ones are adorable too, aren't they? I love them too. So there are 10 pairs of earrings in here. 10 pair. And these, these are really interesting. Really, really interesting. So, let's see if I can get them to focus in. There we go. Yeah. So, and the closing A. The closing A, I think they're beautiful. We're at $13 with Des. It's a great lot. I have another lot of earrings, too, but coming up, got uh, Vita in at 1350. Do I know any of the Gilberts in magazine? No, I do not. My mom might because my dad actually pastored in magazine at one point. Des is in at 14. 
that's still only a dollar forty a pair of earrings, guys. You can't beat it. They gonna buy some of your goats. There's several places around here that I know do goats and make goat milk soap too. There's actually a lady that there's two businesses right here in town. And actually that Gilbert lady may be one of them. Is she looking at some of your goats? So we've got this bag. Ten pairs of earrings. We've got Des in at 14. Anybody else bidding? Going one time at 14, guys. Going one time at 14. Vita's out. Going two times at $14. Two times at $14. Two times at $14. This is your final warning, guys. Final warning. And we are sold for $14 to Desiree. Thank you, Des. Thanks, Des. Okay. Just so you guys can be looking it up. C-E-C-I-L-E. C-E-C-I-L-E. Jeans. C-E-G-J-E-A-N-N-E. Cecil Jean. To sell it to Jean. I have a bracelet coming up from her. So I want y'all to look her up so you can see what kind of prices she has. So, okay. Thank you. Hi, Pat. How are you, hon? So here we go. Moving along. This next brace necklace is signed to Aldo, A L D O. I do believe that is a brand that is sold in ooh, Kohl's, I think, or JCPenney's one. I'm not sure. This is a beautiful necklace, only I should have untangled it earlier. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Aldo brand. I'm going to unfasten it so I can untangle it because it'll drive me nuts until I do. Thank you, Miss Pat. I appreciate the compliment. Y'all all make made me feel real good about myself today. So, real good about myself. So, anyhow. So, we have a multi-layered Aldo necklace. Um, it does come from... I want to say JCPenney's or Kohl's. I'm not positive. I can't remember exactly where I've seen this. I'm thinking Kohl's now that I think about it. Thinking I'm leaning towards Kohl's. So, oh, it is, you know what? It is tangled desperately. We're going to skip it. I can't, I can't. Uh, untangle it. <laughs> I, I don't have the calmness to untangle it tonight. So, uh, if you want to, this is what it looks like. It is multi-layered, uh, brilliant, what I call brilliant cut chains. You've got that, and then it comes down into a, into a couple of tassels. Gold tone, brilliant cut uh, we'll do a buy it now on this. If you would like this Aldo necklace for uh, $4, 
Type in Aldo and it is yours at four four dollars. Okay, it's a real good brand. Yes, it is a very good brand. Four dollars. I just can't. I don't have the patience to untangle it at this moment, and I don't know that I will have the patience to ever untangle it. So, Aldo, four dollars. You get to untangle it yourself. <laughs> four dollars. It is. It is intact. I have had it untangled and not all it's not broken anywhere it's just i've wadded it up real good so if nobody wants it we'll pass on it and i'll work on getting it all entangled later but yeah all these little pieces of chain you see that are dangling are part of the are part of the thing are part of the um tassels is what they're part of so anybody four dollars on it all you got to do is type in aldo if not, I will untangle it and we'll deal with it next week. And I will be here next week again, too, guys. Uh, right now, Booge is taking a break. So, for right now, she's concentrating on listing, listing, listing. So, she's got some great stuff up on her on her Etsy page. So, and her posh and all that. Anybody on the Aldo, I can't deal with it. <laughs> I just can't. So... You want $4 on the Aldo Vita? Okay. So to Vita for $4. Gotcha, Vita. I'll sell it to you for $4, honey. Okay, that was number 14. Here's number 15. Okay, guys. This is a beautiful ring. It is... Where is Barbara Mandrell? Barbara Mandrell, where are you? There you are. It is a size 10. It is not silver. It is not. I'm not advertising it to be anything but a Size 10 cheap costume ring. And it is. It almost looks like an engagement ring. Is what it looks like. There you go. If you would like to buy this ring for $4. Type in the word square. Size 10. Size 10. Silver tone. Rhinestone. Ring. For four dollars, type in the word square. Square is your word. Ooh. What did I do with number 14? There it is. Square. Four dollars on this one, guys. It's a pretty ring. Pretty, pretty. Actually, if you want it for three, I'll let you have it for three. You can still type in the word square and it's yours for three dollars. Three dollars on this one. Size 10. It's not adjustable. It is a brand new ring. It is not used. Um, three dollars. Square is your word. Size 10. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have any rings that size tonight. I can't remember what was in there. Anybody want it for $3? Size 10. It's a big one. Yay, nay. Huh. Okay, I'm passing on it. I will have when I get start getting sorted through all those rings. My the silver lot that I have has over 50 rings in it, and there will be size seven and eights in it. So I'm going to pass on this ring right here, this size 10. Okay, here we go. Did y'all look up C 
C-E-C-I-L-E, Cecile Jean. Did you look her up? Because her jewelry sells for quite a nice price. She's on the back of this. It's signed Cecile Jean. It is a bracelet. Oh, did she? It is seven inches long. Cecile Jean. I don't know how to say it. Except for I do know that I've seen that it is. This is more of a peach color than it looks a little orangey here. But it's enamel on these gold links. Her jewelry sells for very, very good prices. If you looked it up, you'll know it sells for really good prices. We're going to start this bracelet at $8. $8, guys. $8. No, I'm not losing weight. <laughs> I am not losing weight. <clears throat> I wish I was. Tell Frank Jr. I said thank you. He's sweet. Eight dollars. Francis Marlowe is in at eight. Des is in at nine. He is losing weight. Francis is in at 10. Or he is sweet. He is a sweet, sweet boy. Sweet kid. Well, he's not a boy. He's a man. He's in his 30s. Fashion is in at 11. Somebody looked it up. It's. I don't think it's a stone. I think it is uh, enamel. I think it's enameled on there. An enamel overlay. I don't think it's a stone. Francis is in at 12. It's non-magnetic, but I didn't test it for anything, so who knows what it is. I dropped my ink pen if y'all are wondering what I'm doing. It's not a show unless you drop something, is it, Jen? Layton. I don't know if Jen's still here or not. There we go. It's not a show. $13 to Fashion Reclaim. You're okay. $14 to Francis. Ho hopefully you're cooking something good. When do you guys when do you guys fly to Vegas? Got Francis in at 14. bracelet rotisserie chicken and Caesar salad sounds good Francis is in at 14 you still in days are you out you leave Wednesday 15 to days Francis is out. 
Going one time to Desiree at fifteen dollars. Going two times to Desiree at fifteen dollars. And we are sold to Des at fifteen dollars. Thank you, Des. Okay, let's see. Okay, I was, I'm just counting. So, to make sure that I didn't. Seven. So, this one is not signed. It is a little pearl branch. Sheath, flowers, whatever you want to say. It does have rhinestones in it. If you would like to buy this brooch. For three dollars, type in the word pearl. Pearl. And I'm sure they're faux pearls, but if you would like it for three dollars, this is a buy it now. Pearl is your word. Pearl, 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 don't you marry Earl. Pearl, 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 don't you marry Earl. Okay, guys. Three dollars is this on this brooch. Uh, it's probably vintage enough to go on <laughs> on Etsy, uh, but it's not like vintage, vintage. It's not like it's probably from the eighties, nineties. It would be my guess. Pearl, pearl, pearl. Don't you marry Earl? Okay, guys. Anybody want it for three dollars? It's a pretty one. It's pretty. Hey, lovey, you're pretty too. Yes, he's pretty. <laughs> he's a mess. Okay, I'm gonna pass on it if nobody's wanting it. All you gotta do is type in the word pearl. If you miss miss me now, just go ahead and type it in. I'll still see it. I'll still give it to you for the three dollars. Okay. So um, this one is very interesting to me. This is a hand designed by Donna Beth Mitchell. I did not e even Google her name. It has a hang tag on it. Her own hang tag. She made this bracelet. And you've got copper leaves. And I'm going to read you. She has what she used in it. It has Swarovski crystals, Czech glass beads, Japanese seed and miracle beads. And it's made with sterling silver. And these, all this part is sterling silver. The original price on it looks like $24. And then it was marked down to $15. I'm going to do a buy it now on this bracelet. I don't know who Donna Beth Mitchell is. But I'm going to do a buy it now on this bracelet for $7. If you want this bracelet for $7, tap in Donna. Donna, you want my tiger's eye bracelet? It's stretchy. So, Donna Beth Mitchell. I don't know her. This is what her little tag looks like. Uh, you can see. Anyway, she lists on the back what kind of crystal she does. That it's sterling silver in the USA. If you want this for $7, type in Donna. Donna is the word. It's really pretty. I like these pearl leaves. I don't, I'm guessing that these here are your. Uh, I got you, Francis. I got you, honey. It's a beautiful little bracelet. And it's sterling.
Okay, we have Leah Sophia with lots and lots of beads. Leah Sophia. Leah Sophia is, it's cute jewelry. It's not spectacular, but it's cute jewelry. If you want to buy this Leah Sophia necklace for $3, top in blue. Blue is your keyword. $3 buys it. Blue. Blue. There's more than $3 worth of beads there. Blue. Pat, I watched one of your videos this week. Um, I can't remember now which one it was. Watched it. It was very interesting and I enjoyed it. Vita's got it for blue. Thank you, Vita. Vita, are you going to take it apart? The beads are not glass. They're not glass. So, but Vita already come in with blue. So, yeah, they're not glass. I do have some glass beads, but uh. Okay, guys, this one I know is sold at Macy's. It's INC ink. INC. These are not. No, it's not glass. They're plastic. Um, INC. This is a very good brand. A very, very nice brand. Uh, if you've not checked them out, uh, INC is sold at Macy's. You can check out their prices. And we're going to start the bidding on this INC necklace at, uh, let me make sure my numbers are right. Uh, we're going to start the bidding at $5 on this. $5. And it is really pretty. It's got, oh, it's got coated like mirror beads. It's got really sparkly beads in it. Uh, you've got the dingle dangle down here. It's long. Let me just go and see how long it is. He brought me a ruler and then I'm not using it. 17, 16, 32 inches. 32 inches. So. I hate when I can't remember what it was about, though. It was a good video, too. It was something about in your house. I think you were making something. Maybe were you cooking or doing something? So, $5. Anybody want to start on that? $5. Got Gail A in at 5 Anybody else want to bid? Five dollars to Gail A. I N C. If you've not ever heard of it, it is sold at Macy's. And I know this because I like to haunt Macy's clearance on their website. And uh, yeah, five dollars going once. To Gail A. Five dollars going twice. To Gail A. This is your final warning. I'm fixing to sell this INC necklace to Gail A for five dollars. Y'all ready? Final warning, going three times, sold to Gail A for $5. Thank you, Gail. This is 925, guys. <clears throat> this one is not part of the silver lot that I got in. This is actually something that was mine. I'm just going to read to you what it says on the back of it because I don't know what all these letters mean. I do know what 925 might means, but it looks like there is a EDSS, but I'm not sure. So you have these little, what look like to be light amethysts, almost pale. They're really pale purple. I don't know that they're even amethysts. You have a crisscross here. You have a double safety and a 
box clasp, push in box with a double clasp. It is 925. It is gold tone, which means it's for May. And it tested as 925. I did test it. These are pale pink, pale purple stones. Um, we'll see how long it is. Because we know that if we don't see how long it is, Barbie will ask us, right? Because Barbie likes to know how long everything is. Because she has, it's seven and a quarter inch. Seven and a quarter, okay? Very, very delicate, very nice. 925. It is signed. I think it said EDSS, but I don't know. You asked because Barbie wasn't here to ask. We're going to start the bidding at this at $8. $8 on this beautiful bracelet. I don't even know if any of these stones are. These, this look like this right here. Let me, let me make sure. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, these X's look like stones, but they're actually the metal brilliant cut to look like stones. This right here. The only stones really are these purple ones. Okay, you got Vita in at 8. And it is 925. It has a double safety clasp. Very, very nice bracelet. Can't even remember actually where it came from. It may have came... From an earlier Pennsylvania lot. Going one time at $8, guys. This is beautiful. Your birthday is Friday. Happy birthday. Oh, I remember you're a Valentine's baby. I remember that now. Going two times at $8, guys. Anybody else in on it? Anybody else going to bid? We're bidding on this 925 double safety catch pale purple bracelet. 925. It's just long. It's pale purple. It has, um, it does have some sig some letters on it. I think it says EDSS, gold over silver, Vermeil. Yeah, just they look like a really light amethyst is what they look like to me. More than likely a man-made amethyst for a lot. Or lab created. So. And. Anybody else interested? If not, I'm fixing to sell it to Vita. Oh, Jude's in at 10. And we're fixing to do a giveaway, you guys. Gonna do a giveaway. A giveaway. A giveaway, a giveaway, a giveaway. It's a really pretty bracelet. Okay, Vita, you in or out? Jude, come in at 10. Going once at $10, guys. Going, yep, the double latch means it's valuable. You don't want to lose it. Vita's out. Going twice at $10. This is your final warning, guys. Final warning. 
Everybody done here? You sure you done, Vita? Francis is in at 11. Okay, there we go. We may be having some lag problems. Francis is in at 11 on it. You've got 925 it is, and it did test. Jude is in at 12. Has a double latch. They look like pale amethysts. Francis is in at 13. EDSS is what I think the letters say, but they're really hard to tell. Really, really hard to tell, but it is double. Jude is in at 14. He just came up the stairs. Oh, you were you were going to cook supper, didn't you? You went to cook supper. Francis were, is in at 15. Oh, I'm fixing to sell you my I'm fixing to sell you my tiger's eye bracelet. Jude's out. It is a very nice bracelet. Going once at fifteen dollars, guys. Going one time at fifteen dollars. You really did cook supper. Did you cook something yummy? Going two times at fifteen dollars. Going two times at fifteen dollars. It's sold in Kmart and Sears. This did nine two five E D S S. I'm not sure that that's what it says, but no, I don't know. C D C S S. I don't know. I can't tell what it says. Fifteen dollars. Rosemary chicken and rice. Yeah, and that sounds good. And we're sold to Francis for fifteen dollars, guys. Sold to Francis. Thank you. I've bought some nice jewelry in Kmart and Sears. Y'all ready for a giveaway? Ready for a giveaway? Okay, giveaway number two. Remember the rules? You don't have to be a, a purchaser. You don't have to buy anything. This is not affiliated with YouTube, this is all about my own little thing. You pick a number between 1 and 50 and start. Everybody getting their number in? I don't know. Barbie may be eating dinner. Barbie, where's your number? Barbie, Barbie, where's your number, honey bunch? Barbie, Barbie, where's your number? 
if anybody is friends with uh, Susan Gill, send her a message that we're fixing to do some beads. So, hey, Jen. Did you get your number in, Jen? Okay, guys, we're fixing to call a halt to the numbers. Barbie, we're looking for your number, Barbie. Barbie, everybody's yelling at Barbie. Can put in Barbie's number, okay? <laughs> One Vita wants to know, should she pick a number for Barbie? Okay, guys. Come on, Barbie. And she can have your number. <laughs> and I'm going to type in stop. Whoops. It helps when you know how to spell. There you go. Stop. Okay, guys. Uh, got you in. There you go, fashion. Des got hers in right before I hit stop. There we go. So numbers 1 to 50. Barbie should be 37. <laughs> and here is our number this time. Can you see it? I hate when it. Number 12. Number 12. Let's just go up here and see. 1 to 50. I see 48, 25, 13. Judith Daly is 13. Francis is, I think Judith is going to win. There we go. Judith Daly, you just won. I need you to tell me A, B, no, A, B, C, E, or F. A, B, C, E, or F. Yep, Judith Daly. A, B, C, E, or F. A, B, C, E, or F. A, B, C, E, or F. Just pick one of those letters and then I'll show you your prize, okay? Uh, you picked F. You get half price shipping. If you do not buy anything, I will send you a prize. Hey, hi, CC. Um, I will send you buy anything but you will get half price shipping okay if you buy anything tonight you get half price shipping so and i will write your name on this but what i do on these when people don't buy anything like i have one for three dollars off if they don't buy anything i send them a piece of jewelry so okay so we have a b c and e left a, B, C, and E left. Okay. This hair. Okay. Y'all ready? Let's do another couple. No, let's do another wallet. Let's do another wallet. This is the last vintage wallet I have. This one is in black. Almost just like that one, except for it has a zipper here, and there's a little bit of wear here. It does zip. All three things open. We're going to start this one at $3. $3. Hi, Cece. Welcome, Connie. $3 on this black wallet, guys. $3. It is vintage. I don't think it's as vintage as the other one, and that's why I started it at $3, but it is vintage. I can just tell by... The way it's constructed. So. And I'm thinking this one may have come from my mother-in-law's house too. So. Got black wallet. Three dollars is where we're starting. If you're interested in vintage wallets. Twenty-nine people here. Twenty-three thumbs up. Thank you guys. Got Vita in on three dollars. Vita, 
Speed is in them at $3 on this. Anybody else want to come in on the wallet? Not going to linger long. If you have some lag, sorry. But we're just going to sell this because we have a lot to sell tonight. A lot to sell. We haven't even got through one bucket yet. Going one time at $3. It's your name. <laughs> Going two times at $3. And we are sold for $3 to Miss Vita. Thank you, Vita, honey. Okay. Let's go to some more silver. How about, let's do this. Okay. I will tell y'all. I have a lot of stuff. Yes, a whole lot have a lot of silver so anyway y'all see that it is reconstituted turquoise cross it is vintage it is silver I cannot find anywhere on this that it is stamped silver or stamped sterling or stamped 925. It does need cleaned up on the back, but it has been tested. I've tested it multiple times just to make sure it is sterling. It is gorgeous. And we're going to start the bids on this cross at $8. $8. I don't have a chain. I mean, I have chains that are for sale separately, but uh, I did not put it on a chain. We're going to start at $8 on it, guys. It is a beautiful cross. It slides through like this. It has the hoops on the back. Judith Daly is in at $8. Judith Daly is in at $8. Let's see. Thelma's still here. She loves Sterling. I think she likes turquoise too. Francis is in at nine. Judith is in at ten. I can't believe how much gray I have right there. I wonder if it's all gray or if it, I, my dry shampoo got brushed out good. I did dry shampoo today. Oh, this is another whole thing about the hair getting long. Is It's a pain in the tail to wash. Getting it all wet. I don't like it. Not used to having this much hair. So we've got uh, Judith. We get Judith start at eight. Francis nine. Judith ten. Francis eleven. Judith twelve. We're at twelve dollars on this, guys. Francis is in at thirteen. Fourteen. It is pretty. Very, very pretty. The The shape of it is very interesting. I mean, it's just very, it's a gorgeous piece. I love it. If it had been mine, I probably would have kept it. <laughs> Francis is at 15. Judith is at 16. Francis is out. Anybody else coming in on this? Going one time at $16 to Judith Daly. Going one time at $16. Oh, I'm cutting mine off as soon as my year is up. I, I'm going to the year. I told you I would not cut it for a year. May will be a year. 
I know what I'm doing on May Day. <laughs> so, going two times, guys, at $16. Going two times at $16. So, going two times at $16. This is your final warning on this beautiful sterling cross with turquoise, reconstituted turquoise in it. And we are sold for 15, no, $16 to Judith Daly. Thank you, Judith. You won't make it to May. Thank you. And congratulations on your first purchase from me. I appreciate it very much. So. Okay. Mike, are you still here? What? I am cutting it off after all these months. Look. Jude, you were in the betting. You were in the betting bunch that was betting. I wouldn't make it this far. So, Mike, are you still here? Grow it long and wear it in a French row. So, okay, I, I'm serious. I'm going to sell this bracelet to Mike. This is, they are real tiger's eye beads. They're on a stretchy. It's not even a really nice made stretchy. I don't know where it came from. I liked it, but we're going to start this at, we'll start it at, because the beads are so nice, we'll start it at $4. $4. Hey, Kathleen. Four dollars, Mike. You wanted this. You said you wanted me to sell you my Tiger's Eye bracelet. I'm going to. Four dollars is where we're starting. Jen's in at four. She beat you. I'm getting out of. I'm getting out of thing. It is very heavy. It's a very high. Heavy uh, bracelet. Uh, Mike's in at five. You didn't have any idea that I... Well, I'm going to cut it in a longer style than what I normally wear it. Probably a bob. Probably about right here. So... Uh, I don't know which one is which. Thank you, Kathleen. Mm, tiger's eye. Bracelet. Mike's in at five. You coming back on him, Jen? How about it, Jen? You coming in at five fifty, five and a quarter? I wore my hair in a bob for years. Years. I actually used to wear it in like a Dorothy Hamill bob. Remember that? Jen's out. Going one time at five dollars. Going two times at five dollars. This is your final warning. Jen says she's out. We are sold to Mike. You like jewelry. There. Sold to Mike. There you go, Mr. Mike. Okay. Here we go. Okay. This is another cross, guys. They are beautiful beads. Everybody wore in a Dorothy Hamill. Okay. Let me read what this says on the back of it. This has listed for silver. It says 925. And it has let me see if that's right. Uh uh. I did it wrong. Uh, 
Okay. There's a mark that looks like this, an M with a backwards C. I don't know what it is. It says 925 M with a backwards C. Okay. So we have this cross. It is brushed on the front. It is marked 925 with that M with the backwards C on it. Don't know what it is. I do know it's silver, McCoy. <laughs> I do know it's silver. It has been tested. It is silver. And it tests positive for silver. If you want to bid on this, you're more than welcome. We're going to start the bids on this at... Um, we're going to start the bids on this at $7. $7, guys. $7. Got Francis in at... Seven dollars. I don't know what the M with the backwards C means. Hi, Josie. Welcome. It is sterling. I did test it. It is marked 925. It has an M with a backwards C. <clears throat> M with a backwards C. Yeah, Francis in at seven. Anybody else want to go higher than seven and on it? Seven and a quarter is all you have to go up. It is sterling. Let me just tell you how big of a cross that is. It is an inch and a half. The actual cross part is an inch and a half long. With the bell, it goes up to two inches. So... Going one time at $7, guys. Going one time at Going two times at $7. Y'all going to let Francis walk off with it, aren't you? $7. And we're sold to Francis for $7. Thank you, Francis. Uh, I thought she was, but I don't know where she went. She may be eating dinner, so... Barbie, they're looking for you. Okay, guys, you can look this one up. It is signed Sterling, which means it's vintage. It is also signed Vandell. V-A-N-D-E-L-L, Vandell. And you have what looks like to be either a little green apple or a little green pear with leaves. I'm leaning towards an apple. The chain is Sterling. The... The findings around this is sterling, and it has a vintage spring ring clasp. It is signed Vandell, and we're going to start this one at $10. $10. And you can look it up on, on Etsy if you want to see what kind of prices they sell for. We're going to start this at $10. This is a, it is glass. Or a stone. It is cold. It clicky clacks like stone and glass do. Uh, I lean towards it being maybe a glass pendant. But it is really pretty. Vandell is a nice. Francis is in at 11. It is a nice brand. I have tested. I tested the chain and the findings. Yeah, Vandell is a good brand.
It is a nice vintage brand also. Cherry's in at 12. Francis is in at 13. Cherry's in at 14. It does look like jade. It might even be jade eye to tell tell you the truth but i really don't think so princess is in at 15. i didn't do much research on it so i don't know what kind of things that uh vandell used in their jewelry do not know what kind of things they used in their jewelry so out to francis Going one time at $15, guys. Going one time at $15. Going two times at $15. Going two times at $15. This is your final warning. If you would like to bid on this, you need to do it now because I'm fixing to say that we are now sold to Francis Marlowe. Thank you, Francis. Might be a type of adventuring. It might be, but I don't think I've ever seen adventuring in that deep of a green. So, okay. Here we go. Let's... um. Okay. Let's do a silver chain. Jade dot is usually a lighter green. Nephrite jade is darker green. Yeah. This is a sterling silver chain. I did test it today. Let me just tell you how big, how long it is. It does need cleaned. Y'all know not big on cleaning silver. Not nine, 18 inches. I just like the patina of dark silver. So it is a box chain. This is a box chain. It is marked. It has a spring ring. So it gives me an idea that it may be vintage. It's just a chain. That's all you're buying. And we're going to do a buy it now. On this chain, I'm going to do a bite now of eight dollars. Eight dollars, it's 18 inch. Eight dollars, if you want to buy this chain for eight dollars, guys, eight dollars, just type in silver, silver, silver. Judith Daly is in at eight. Judith, if you, can you type in silver and it's yours? Since she said eight first, we'll do. There we go. Sold to Judith. Thank you, Judith. Okay. There you go. Okay. So, thank you, Judith. This one here is signed and says 925. And it's funny, the black has come out of the 9, but it is 925. It tests positive as silver. 
It is a malachite. And it is, it is, uh, I do believe it to be real malachite. It, it feels cold. It, it clacks like a stone. We're going to start the bidding on this one. We're going to start bidding on this at $8. $8. eight dollars it's very beautiful i have a home malachite set that i bought judith is in it eight i bought from a uh, bougie bear quite a while ago i have earrings a necklace and and i bought it to go with a malachite it needs it it needs that chain yeah that chain that you just bought judith will go real good for it so Anna Moore is in at eight twenty-five. Judith is in at eight fifty. Guys, um, I will be sending out invoices in the morning. Used to, I used to stay up late and do them at night, but I will send it out in the morning. Uh, we've got eight seventy-five and now nine. Judith is back in at nine. Peking glass. Fashion Des, you're going 12 on the Malachite. You're jumping up to 12 on the Malachite. Is that right? Want to make sure that you have, don't have a lag. I don't know what you're calling Peking glass. Judith, yep. Judith is in at 13. It is a beautiful piece. Gorgeous. Uh, Judith was in before you were, Anna. You'll have to go uh, by at least a quarter. Anna's in at 14. It is stamped on the back, 925. You can see right in there where it's stamped. Anna Moore's in at 14. Judith is in at 15. You're sick, so you'll be in and out. Des is out. Anna Moore is out. So they're out. And we're going to go once at 15. Oh, Peking glass on the Vandale. Thank you. Going twice at 15. I hope you feel better, Kathleen. Going twice at 15. This is your final warning, guys. Final warning. And sold to Judith for $15. Thank you, Judith. I'm counting up to make sure how many we've done. Okay, guys, here is a beautiful silver chain. Let me just see how long it is. If I can see how long it is. Sixteen inches, guys. Sixteen inches on a of a what looks like to be three strand woven chain. It has huh. It's missing a jump ring here on the clasp, but I will fix that. I have some uh, parts that I can fix this with. It is made in Italy, and they will be. It will be a st sterling jump ring. I have a bag of sterling things down here that have broken things, 
So I'll take one of the jump rings off that. So it is three strands. There we go. Of Starlin Silver. There we go. There's one right there. Yep. Just like it. Made in Italy and everything. So. Three strands. Of Starlin Silver. Made in Italy. And we're going to. It's 16 inches long. And we're going to start it at $8. $8, guys. Sterling silver, a triple strand. So it's almost like getting three. There we go. Got Jen in at eight. <laughs> Come on, Cindy Lou Bob. There we go. Judith is in at nine. Jen's in at ten. Judith is in at ten fifty. Jen's out. Anybody else? Going one time at ten dollars and fifty cents. Sorry, that was shoot, not with an I. Try not to say bad words, but sometimes I do because I'm a human. If y'all didn't know that, I'm a human. Going twice at ten dollars. Going twice at ten dollars. <laughs> Jen loves me because I'm a human. Going twice at ten dollars. And we are sold to Judith Daly for ten dollars. And I'm squeezing this together. Hurry, 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 hurry. I keep there we go. There we go. Oh, almost had it. Sold to Judas for $10.50. Thank you, Judas. And remember, guys, uh, you have 48, 48 hours from the time you get your invoice to pay. If you have a problem with that, all you have to do is email me and say, hey, uh, I might be a few days. Can I have a few extra days to pay or can I have until this point to pay? Um, I don't have a problem holding things, but uh, I don't like to hold them longer than a week. OK. So. But. Uh, uh, you're back now. Was your supper good? There we go. And we are fixed. There we go. Woohoo! I got you all fixed up there. There you go. See? There you go. Okay. So. You love me because I'm humane. <laughs> You're funny. You're funny, Vida. So, okay. 
Okay. I have another 925 necklace. This one has another gold wash on it. It is not got a broken link out of it. It's not, which that wasn't a broken link. It just was missing a jump ring. It is also 17 inches long. Well, it is 17 inches long. It is a flat serpentine. It does look like a gold wash to me. And uh, we're going to start this one. At, and it needs cleaned. I'll just tell you that right now. It needs cleaned. I didn't clean it. So it needs a good dip. We'll start this one at. You just ate your weight in salad. Um, we're going to start this one at $7. $7. 17 inch. 925. It does test as 925. I like salad. Sometimes it doesn't like me. I ate cucumbers today. They were good. So, 17 inch gold wash 925 necklace. Flat chain. Start at $7. Starting point is $7, guys. $7. $7. Anybody? And I actually have two of these. Um, got Josie in at seven. I'll just show them both and you can bid and then you can have your choice. Okay, Josie? Or anybody else that's bidding. This one here might be a little bit longer than 17 inches, but they're both, they both have a gold wash on them. Uh, this one's a little bit brighter gold than that one. And it is going to be 17 also. It is 17 inches. So you can have your choice of which one you want. Mary Pelletier is in at 750. Hi, Mary, honey bunch. So you can have your choice. This one is a little bit narrower, but it's a little bit shinier. They are gold over silver. Gold over silver. They are made in Italy. Uh, got Josie in at 8. Brenda's in at 9. Josie's in at 10. There's Barbie. Barbie, you missed the last giveaway. Everybody was yelling, where's Barbie? Where's Barbie? Brenda's in at 11. This will be choice. You'll get the choice of which one you want. Or you can have both of them. So, And whoever wins it gets their choice first. And if they only want one, then the next person down will get the uh, next choice. So. We are going once. At $11, guys. And guys, if y'all don't know who Brenda is, she's my friend. She actually lives in my town. I did have a flea market booth in, one, in her store, but I don't know more. Going twice at $11, guys. Going twice at $11. I've been meaning to come and tell you about this silver lot I have. So... I've been busy, though. I know that you find that hard to believe that I stay busy. So, this is your final warning. Nobody else in it at 11. This is choice. They're gold over silver necklaces. Gold over silver. 925. Final warning. Brenda's in at 11. You get a choice on them. Which one you want? You, there's one's narrower, one's wider. 
were sold to Brenda for eleven dollars. Brenda, do you want number one, the wider one, number two, the more narrow one, or both of them? You want at eleven, Brenda. Do you want number one, number two, or both? Okay, gotcha. I'll just bring them down to you. I won't invoice you. <laughs> there we go. I'll put that other. Oh, I don't need that. Okay. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's see. I want to do one more silver bracelet for right now. I'm going to give one to Bubba. Okay, Bubba will like that. So. Okay, so we have this um, 925 bracelet. It is, um, oh, there it's a tight box chain, triple strand, and it goes into this little design here. Let me tell you how long it is. You want to come visit me, you come visit me anytime you want, Miss Vina. It is seven inches long. It tests as silver. It is stamped 925. Uh, where did I see that? I think it, it was on one of the little flapper things on it. Anyway, but I'm not positive. 925. Very delicate. Very nice little bracelet. Uh, no rhinestones or anything in it. I don't think there's supposed to be any rhinestones in it. Doesn't look like it. We're going to start the bidding at this on this at um. We're going to start at seven dollars. Seven dollars. Got Judith in at seven. Josie's in at eight. Gail's in at nine. Josie's in at ten. They're just ahead of you, Judith. Josie's in at ten. The next bid needs to be ten fifty. Judith is out. Uh, Josie's in at, let's see, Gail went 11, Josie went 12, Gail's at 13. I do that a lot because I'm getting wrinkles around my mouth. Josie's out. Thank you for bidding, ladies. Going one time at $13, guys. One time at $13. Going two times at thirteen dollars. Two times at thirteen dollars. This is your final warning.
Final warning, and we are sold to Gail A for $13. Thank you, Gail. Y'all ready for a giveaway? Giveaway time. Giveaway time. Giveaway number three. There we go. You know the rules. I've told you them several times. We're not connected to. It's not connected to YouTube. Pick a number one time. If somebody else above you picks the same number, you can change it one time. One time only can you change it, okay? Numbers one through 50, pick them and start. I hit the start. There you go. So we have A, B, C, and E left. We have three pieces of different pieces of jewelry left and a $3 off coupon left. Pat's in at 11. Jude's in at 18. 36. 28. Pull up my number generator. There's Barbie getting her number in there. They worry when you're not here to put your number in, Barbie. We hollered and hollered while ago and nobody. It, um, Vita even offered to put a number in for you. Sandy Brown's going, she's going low because the number generator seems to be on the low side this time. Hopefully, we'll get a bigger number this time. Everybody got their numbers in? My phone just said something. Maybe somebody just bought something. Nope. Wanted to tell me what they picked for me to buy. Dave's being awful quiet tonight, isn't he? It's wrestling. He's in there watching wrestling. Yeah, but uh, Terry, even you hooed. Okay. Are y'all ready? And Frances yelled at you. Yes, she did. You just sat down to eat chicken salad croissants and the phone went out. You have to keep your phone plugged in. You, your battery is like weak, isn't it? Okay, everybody got their number in. I see fashion. I see Des come in with her number. Barbie's like, she's already picking her number. She's already picking her letter. You haven't won yet, Barbie. And I hit stop, guys. I hit stop. There we go. Okay, nobody's won yet, Mary. Let's see who's going to be the winner. And the number is... Can you see that? 25. 25. Yep, we had chicken parmesan. Five. So let's see who is closest. I'll go ahead and take your number, Patricia. You were a little late, but that's okay. And, and unfortunately, you didn't win either. So who is closest to 25? I saw somebody with 21. Barbie's close at 27. Okay, I see 18. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I see, hold on. Okay. Josie is in at 23. Barbie's in at 27. Okay, when it's like that, it's the number that it came first. When it's when you're both two away, it's the number that came first. So Josie's number came first. So, Josie is the winner. Yes, Josie is the winner. Joe, I need you to pick A, B, C, or E. A, B, C, or E. Yes, Josie was first. A, B, C, or E. 
A, B, C, or E. Josie, if you can pick a, that, an A, B, C, or E. Let me just write Josie. Josie picks B. Okay, Miss Josie. You win this brand new necklace with these rhinestones in it. And it is, it does have a hang tag that's signed, but I do not recognize the name. Uh, so, but I will get this shipped right out to you when I'm doing all my other shipping. So, F is gone, Barbie. Somebody done pick F. F is gone. Oops. There. There. Okay. Okay. Uh, Jory. She picked B. Okay. That's all I needed to know. Okay. Let's look at some more sterling. I got a, some more sterling in here. Some bracelets. So, this one is very nice. Very, very, very nice. Very heavy. It is seven and a quarter inches long. Hi, Jen. Welcome back. Honey Bunch, welcome back. Uh, and it is signed. Let me just see what it says. It's made in the USA. Oh. This one was very interesting to me. I've never seen this mark before. And I don't know that I can make it focus enough. But we're going to try. There you go. It is like a tulip. And it says 9999. So I've never seen that before. So 7 and a quarter inches. 9999. A rope. It does test. As silver. Um. I don't know what the tulip is. I don't know what the nine, uh, well, nine, 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 what that means. It's supposed to be nine, 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 nine point of silver. So we're going to start the bidding at this at $8. $8 on this one, guys. $8. $8. It's seven and a quarter inches long, 7.25 inches long. Eight dollars. Somebody's messaging me. Got Francis in at eight. Okay. Uh, let's see. Josie's in at nine. Judith is in at ten. Herman campaign slogan 999. Is that what the tulips mean? Herman Cain's. Uh, Herman Cain. Okay, wait. Herman Cain was a politician. Don't confuse me, Barbie. Josie's in at 11. Judah's in at 12. Josie's in at 13. Judith is in at 14. It's a very nice bracelet. Very nice. Josie is in at 15. Jude says she's out. I know Herman Cain ran for president. I thought you were telling me something. His slogan was 999. I thought you were telling me something very important. <laughs> like who that tulip meant. You didn't. Uh, Des is in at 16. I doubt he made jewelry. Uh, Des is in at 16, Judith. You'll have to, Francis is in at 17. It gets to going fast sometimes. Judith is out. Des, Francis is in at 17. Are you going any higher than 17? Uh, 
Obviously, I haven't met you. <laughs> I should know. I should have known. Dez is out. Jude is in at 18. Francis is in at 19. Somebody looked something up on me, didn't they? Uh, Jude is in at 20. Yeah, it's a rope chain. It says that it is. You said something important once. Fashion came back at 21. Uh, it says uh, it has a tulip and it says 9999 on it. Francis is in at 22. Would y'all like for me to tell you how much it weighs? <laughs> I can do that. But I will tell you this, that my... When it comes to grams, my little scale is really not great at grams. But it says it weighs 14 grams. But I will tell you that, like I said, my scale is not great at grams. So they usually tell me that it weighs too heavy on the grams. Uh, the closure is just a spring class with a, a little ring. And I don't even know if it's the right kind of ring there or not. It's just hooked into the chain. So it's just a spring class. No, uh, lobster claw. Sorry, lobster claw. Judith is uh, Judith's out again. Francis has it at 22. So I'm. it said it weighed 14, and then it said it weighed 16. I would guess it probably weighs right around 8 or 9, because usually they tell me that I'm like double what, they're say I need one of those little ones that weighs grams you know like dope dealers use but anyway one of those little bitty ones so I shouldn't say that that's not nice so okay anybody else are we done are we going one time at 22 to Francis going one time at 22 to Francis Going two times at 22 to Francis. Vita's in at 23. Vita's in at 23. It's seven and a quarter inches long. Francis is in at 24. not gonna she's done she, pharmacology challenge Vita's in at 25 25 it's a lot of silver it's really nice don't know who the tulip is y'all tell me after I'm, we're done 26 to Francis Twenty seven to Vita. Twenty eight to Francis. I'm obviously missing something here because Vita, she's already at twenty eight. Twenty nine to Vita. Fine silver, but could be platinum. Right. Thirty to Francis. Thirty one. Thirty-two. 
34. Thirty-five. Well, all I know about it is what I've told y'all. It says made in the USA. It also has the tulip with the 999 under it. And that's all I know about it. I don't see any kind of tarnish on it. It's very shiny and bright. It's very nice. It weighs probably about 8 or 9 grams. And Francis says it's yours at $35. Going one time to the fourth at $35. Going two times at $35. 999 is pure sterling. Yes. Final warning. Final warning, guys. And we are sold to Vita for $35. Thank you, Vita. Okay. Have another bracelet. It does not say 999. Okay. It says, actually, it don't say nothing. It's marked. Where is it marked? <laughs> it may not be marked. Yeah, no. It's marked on the flapper, on the little flapper. You know, when you open it, it's marked there. Nine two five. It is eight and a quarter inches long, and it is, hmm, I don't know what you would call this cut. Uh, there we go. Okay. It's little links, long links, little links, long links, little links, long links. Eight and a quarter. It's a nice size bracelet. We're going to start at $7, guys. $7 is where we're starting at this. Uh, let's see. Links. 8.25 inches. I'm going to start at $7. Figaro, is it Figaro? I don't know. Figaro, Figaro. Seven dollars to Josie. Davy Wavy. Come here, love you, bug. It is a very nice bracelet. Yes, it is a very nice bracelet. I have several of this style. Uh, I think I only put one in tonight. Will you get me some more Mountain Dew out of my jug? Thank you. Let's see. Jude's in at 8. Josie's 9. Jude's 10. Josie's 11. Figaro! 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 There you go. Is that what you mean, Barbie? $12 to Jude? Oh, about three quarters of the way, Dave. Not all the way. Three quarters of the way. Thank you guys for all hanging with me. Got this nice silver in. We're going to sell the silver. Sell the silver. $13 to Josie. $15 to Jude. $16 to Josie. About three fourths, and drink some of it. Thank you. <laughs> Why Mountain Dew? Because I love Mountain Dew. Yeah. And because I'm going to have a long auction tonight, I need some need some juice, some power. Caffeine. I need some caffeine. And because I haven't been afibbing for a while, so. It's not going to rev my heart up. So I've had three days without AFibs. So, yay. So I love Mountain Dew. 
And it's not real high in sodium. I mean, it has some sodium, but not real high. Not real high. And it's it's a clearer. Yeah. And clear is better for your kidneys than um than the dark soda. The dark so, pepper is better. So no soda is good for you, Barbie. None. And I cannot tolerate anything that's uh, artificially sweetened. So mm -hmm. triggers migraines. So Jude is out. Josie's in at 16. 16. Going one time at $16. Going two times at $16. You go back in there and watch your wrestling. I'd be cheap over here. Go. Final warning. Final warning. Tell me he's being cute. And we are sold to Josie. Thank you, Miss Josie. I appreciate it. There we are. I was going to say, Josie won something while ago. She, she won that. So, thank you. I do appreciate it. Okay, guys. I have a pendant. I believe it to be native. There are no marks on it. It is. It needs clean desperately. I've I've rubbed at it with my silver cloth, but it needs more than my silver cloth can do. I can tell you that right now. <clears throat> and because it's in rough shape and needs a good good cleaning, I'm going to do a buy it now on it. And I'm rubbing at it. I cannot see any marks, but it is so tarnished on the back. If there's marks there, I don't, I don't see them. But that's why it kind of clues me in that it might be natives, because Native American older stuff, a lot of it is not signed, and just the style of it makes me think native too. So I'm gonna do it by it now. For ten dollars, okay. So you've got this is what it looks like. It needs clean desperately. I know it does. Buy it now at ten dollars. If you want this pendant for ten dollars, type in native, 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 and it is yours for ten dollars. Native. Am I buffering? Am I buffering? Okay, I got Judith Daly in at Native. Thank you, Judith. Barbie, if you knew all the things that I ate that's not good for me, you wouldn't even be... Worried about me drinking Mountain Dew. Native. Okay, I need to I need to write on it, so I know. Thank you, hun. Let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. Another rope chain bracelet. But I'm pretty sure doesn't say nine 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 on it. What does this one say on it? This one has. One of those little thingamabobs right there. And it says 925. It is also greatly tarnished. Y'all know I'm not. Cleaning silver is not my thing. I think silver is pretty tarnished. Uh, I know that a lot of people like their silver very sparkly and shiny. Oh, let me measure how long it is. This one is a twisted rope chain i did test it does test as silver it also has um a twisted gold little gold um coated overlay on it uh, i'll show you here in a minute i want to tell you how long it is it is 
seven and three quarters. Now, can you see that? I mean about the little silver, about the little gold one over the top of it. As soon as you get them, you shine them up. See, this is what I used to shine with, and I'll run it through this a few times like that, and get some knock off some of the really really gross stuff. But I don't even have no silver cleaner, so well, we're in trouble. Never mind. We're not. I was going to say, I tore it up. But I didn't. In a way, I did. But I didn't tear it up like irreplaceably tear it up. I just knocked the chain off of it. Knocked the class off of it when I run it through that thing. See, this, this is why you don't clean it. If you're as clumsy as I am, you run it through the thing and then it comes off. Okay, here we go. We're going to start it at $7.00. Seven dollars. April tells me I can make a pickle. If you ha have ever t heard them, she talks about making a pickle. You can make a pickle. It's seven and three quarters, and almost eight inches. Start at seven dollars, guys. Seven dollars. Jude's in at seven. Des is in at eight. It is very pretty. It's got that little gold overlay over it. That little gold chain twist through it. I'm sure it's just a silver vermeil. Anyway. Jude's 10. Des is 11. Look at my fingers. Touching all that in silver. I have this one bar brooch that is so pretty. That's part of this lot. Well, not this lot right here. But part of the lot that I got from my friend. <clears throat> anyway. It is so gorgeous. You're a wimpy bitter tonight. Going right. So do y'all have bunches and bunches of snow, Jude? Going once at 11. Going twice at 11. And sold for $11 to Des. Thank you, Desiree. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we're going to lay the silver down for a bit. I have a few pieces of silver left in that one. And we're going to just bid on some lots of snow. I wish all of our rain was snow. <laughs> I would be happy. Everybody around me would be mad, but I would be happy. Okay, we have this cute little Geneva watch. It's a bracelet watch. And technically, I think if you wanted, you have a lot of snow there, too. Technically, I think if you wanted to, you could, like, completely take the watch off because it has these. And you could fasten this together and wear it because it's stretchy. So, this is going to be a buy it now, watch it. Buy it now. It is signed Geneva. It has a mother of pearl iridescent look on it. It has rhinestones all around it. It has this beautiful bracelet band. I don't did not put in a battery, so I don't know about it's really that, but it has beautiful band. So Oh, I've lived in Michigan. I loved it the years I lived in Michigan. 
that we lived in Michigan one winter. It was awesome. We lived in Ohio, uh, right outside of Columbus. Another winter, loved it. Absolutely loved it. But you know, I'm a nut, so what can I say? I love. So we've got this Geneva watch. We're gonna do a buy it now at four dollars. If you want to buy it now at four dollars, type in the word bracelet. 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 Bracelet for bracelet watch. It's gorgeous. I would wear it as a bracelet. I would never wear it as a watch because who needs a watch when you got a phone? But it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. No missing rhinestones. No damage. No nothing. Watch bracelet. You want it, Mary Pelletier? I got you, honey. Mary Pelletier wants this watch bracelet. It is hers. There you go. Sold to Miss Mary Pelletier. Congratulations, Miss Mary. Thank you for coming in and being part of my auction. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just when I said we're going to quit the sterling, here we go. Okay, guys, I have this little stone bracelet. We have what looks like to be soda light. Uh, carnelian, sandstone, there's a tiger's eye, that may be lapis, uh, I see what looks like to be a green aventurine, they're all real stones, this is silver, it tests as silver, it is also signed silver right here on the toggle class, it is a toggle class, it is very pretty, and it is, let me tell you how long it is, it is seven and a, no, it is seven and three quarters of an inch long, it is nine to five, and uh, this one is one of mine, this one's not one of my lots, this is one of my nine to five, what, what number is this, this is number 23. Uh, we're going to do a buy it now. If you want to buy this now, stone bracelet, 925 for $8. Buy it now. Type in stone. $8. Buy it now. Stone is your word. $8. Buy it now. And it is 925. It has been tested. It is marked. These are real stones. I see lapis. I I see tiger's eye. I see what looks like to be carnelian. I uh, think that's adventurine. Not sure what the white. Maybe sandstone. Maybe some kind of a quartz. I'm not sure. Anybody? $8 on this one. Stone. I got you, Francis. Okay, I have this set. It is a brand new set. It is not signed. It is not. Let me just tell you what it says on the bottom of it. It says it is birthstone heart pendant and earrings December. I don't know my birthstones well enough. It's a lot light blue it's got two pairs of earrings it's got a light blue pair and then a pair of clear rhinestones hearts with clear rhinestones on that this is going to be a buy it now number 25 buy it now uh for four dollars if you want this type in the word heart and it's yours and it has a pretty long chain uh i'm guessing probably about an 18 inch chain heart if you want this set for four dollars Heart is your keyword. Heart. Heart. Heart is your keyword. Buy it now for $4. 
Heart is your keyword. Nice set. I keep throwing it out. If I keep throwing it out, it won't be nice no more, will it? Heart. Got you, Vita. There you go. Okay, there's... Here we go. Number 26. Okay, guys, this is a 15-pair earring lot. 15 pairs of earrings. We're going to start at $15. That's a dollar a pair, guys. You cannot beat it. Some of them are still on the card. You've got 14 carat gold filled pin catch earrings. They're 14 carat gold filled. They say still on the card. That's one pair. You've got carrying touch for sensitive ears. 24 carat gold over surgical steel is what it says. Those are vintage. I can just bet you money. You've got this here that has a faux pearl with an enamel, red enamel ring around it. They are pierced. You have these that are hoops that are long and oval. Remember I said this starts at $15. There are 15 pairs of earrings. They are all gold tone. Every pair of them and they are all. There's one pair of clips. The rest of them are pierced. I'll show you the clips next. There's only one. You've got these Sailor. Sail anchors. You've got this right here, which is a pair of half hoops that are they uh, are called um, add a charm. You can add charms to them. They slide down over this and add charms to them. You have this right here that is signed on the back of it. And what does it say? AAI. And here is the match to that. AAI pair. They are very, they, you've got, it's a little gold flyer with a silver swirl in the middle of it. Silver tone swirl, I should say. You've got these black enamel pierced you've got these here double knots pierced you've got these right here some of these are the alme collection but their cards was oops i guess it helps when you hold up the same earrings don't it cindy there you go there that's that pair and I know these these and these here were both the Almays. Uh, their cards were just in real, real bad shape. So, And these are Almays. Somebody just won a pair. One of the giveaways was a pair just nearly just like those. You got little butterflies. Here are the clips. Oh, come on. This. Little shells. And then you've got these little pierced pearl with a little loopy down. So that's one. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 pairs of earrings, all gold tone, all in like new condition, and some of them are brand new. They were on cards that were, the cards were ruined, and I took them off the cards. $15 is where it is. Right now, it'd be a $15 buy now if you want it. $15 buys 15 pairs of earrings, top earrings, and they're yours for $15. $15 buys 15 pairs of earrings, top, buy, top in earrings, and they're yours for $15. Anybody? No? Nope. Nobody wants them? 15 pairs, $15. Nobody? Vita wants them for $15. Thank you, Vita. Oh my gosh. Vita, I wrote in Vita earrings instead of your last name, Vita McCoy. <clears throat> Is anybody interested in beads? Beads. I have a huge bead lot. They're all plastic beads. There's no no um, glass beads. If anybody's interested in beads, type in beads for me and we'll do beads. Until then, I'm going to show you this. This is really not a set, but I thought it looked real good together. Very springy. Very, well, actually, it don't, don't go together good because I've got silver tone and gold tone. But I'm still going to sell it together. So you've got these gold tone chandelier earrings with spring colors. See, they've got these little springy colors and then you've got this long super long double chain charm and charlie enamel that have these little pastel springy enamel pieces so we're going to sell this together okay vita we'll show the beads here in a minute uh, we're going to sell this together as a lot, and we're going to sell this for $4 for the lot. That's $2 for the necklace and $2 for the earrings. $4 for the lot. If you want it, type in spring. Spring. Spring is your word. Spring. Very springy colors. Very nice springy colors. These here come from Darlene Buckland. Spring is your word. Charm and Charlie necklace with uh, some spring earrings. Spring is the word. Spring. Spring. Nobody wants spring. Okay, I'm offering you spring in a bag and you don't want it. That's fine. I'm teasing. Okay, I have a quart size bag full of beads. Okay, I'm not going to pull these all out, but I have those are green. Green. You've got some seed beads. You've got all different colors. You've got some discs. There are 27 items in this, okay? 27 bead items in here. 27 bead items in here. All wearable. None of it's broke. Um, if you want to buy this as a buy it now for um, $8. That was what I had told April. We had talked about this. $8. Buy it now. Uh. 
Your word is going to be mix. M-I-X. Mix. If you want to buy these for, see, I marked 27 for 27 items up there. And then it actually ended up being 27. It is, it will weigh over a pound. So it will have to come in a flat rate uh, padded envelope. But you're already, if you've already bought a bunch, you'll, it's just, Mary Pelletier wants it for $8. I got you, Mary. Thank you, hon. I got you. Okay, we were talking about Superman earlier. This was so funny. I found this. Me and April have discussed what we thought this was. She said, this is for somebody that wants bling bling that don't have the money <laughs> so you got a big s in rhinestones you've got this it's a rose gold color the chain is awesome but there's no fastener it's like totally a go over your head no oh, there's the fastener i looked and looked for that fastener the other day i am just blind in one eye and can't see over the other i did not know vita was topping beads uh, earlier, because she wanted me to, uh-uh, no, the word was mix, Mary got it, mix was the word, uh, Vita was typing in beads, she had typed in beads because she wanted me to show them, because I said, if you want me to show the beads, type in the word beads, and she typed that in, so, anyway, so, if you would like this super, superman necklace, or super lady necklace, for three dollars, top in Superman, Superman flavor flavors necklace. <laughs> yeah, kinda poor poor flavor flav. <laughs> so top in Superman if you want it for three dollars. It's a buy it now three dollars. You know what this would be fun as you want a Superman. <laughs> You know what this would be fun? If your family does gag gifts, this would be fun to give as a gag gift to you in, at, at Christmas. So, this would, I mean, it really would. I could see people passing it around year to year. So, somebody, who was it told me? I can't remember who it was told me. Oh, I do know who it is. I do know. It's my friend Jetty. They have a black velvet, velvet Elvis painting that they pass around year to year as a, a, a gag gift. So, does anybody want the Superman necklace? Three dollars. Superman is your word. So, if not, we shall pass. You want it, Mike? I got you. Mike wants it. Sold to Mike. Thank you, Mike. Okay, guys. I have this really pretty. When I was doing jewelry, I, I guess I was in the mood for spring. Because I just really was gravitating towards springy items. So I have this real pretty. It's again another layering piece. You can layer it. It has yellows, corals, mint green, peachy. I guess that is the coral color. If you want this necklace, this layering piece, it's not marked anything. If you're interested in it for a... Uh, Two dollars just top in um top in coral the word coral two dollars on this this necklace right here it's really long two dollars it's yours two dollars top in the word coral it's not coral but top in the word coral Let 
Yeah. Mm. I remember. Uh, get Jen Layton first at Coral. Let's see, that's number 34. Bring my plus $2. Jen Layton, got you, Jen. Let's see. Ooh, it's time for another giveaway, guys. Time for another giveaway. Y'all ready? Let me get let me get ready. This up. Giveaway. What giveaway is this? Two, three. This will be giveaway number four. Giveaway number four. There we go. Start 1 to 50. We still got A, C, and E. A, C, and E. We'll do... What's this one? A, C, and E. Just put your numbers in. There you go. What's wrong? What's wrong? Mm, I heard you holler and I thought something was wrong. Hey, go see if there's any more Cheetos in the... There's no. Are you sure? No. <laughs> you know, you can change your number one time. There you go, if somebody else has picked it. This is a really pretty brand new bracelet. Oh, nice. If not, Doritos will work. Nacho. You know I don't like the Cool Ranch. Everybody got their number in? I don't see Barbie. Where are you? Oh, it says allowed, allowed. They changed to, to 47. 